same recipe, same fat, one of them's creamy, the other's not quite. And the only difference between them is half a teaspoon of this. But before we get to that, let's talk about fat. Fat, usually butter fat from heavy cream, gives ice cream its body and that cozy mouthfeel we all know and love. It's what makes great ice cream feel like the right balance of ice and cream. So yes, to begin with, you need fat. So today, I'll show you three ice cream recipes, all made with the same ingredients, milk, heavy cream, and sugar, but with different fat levels, 20%, 15%, and 10%. At 20% fat, everything works beautifully. It churns evenly, scoops cleanly, and stays smooth in the freezer. When we drop to 15%, the texture starts to feel colder and slightly icy. You can't always see it, but you can feel it. It melts faster and doesn't hold as well once frozen. At 10%, the texture really suffers. During churning, it's no longer smooth. More like cottage cheese, it melts almost instantly. And once frozen, it's closer to shaved ice than ice cream. Hear this? I call this the snow effect. This is how 10% fat ice cream sounds. Smooth ice cream doesn't make a sound, it scoops silently. So how can we reduce the fat and still have a smooth, silent ice cream? Here comes our little hero. Let me introduce you to xanthan gum. You've probably seen it in many of my ice cream recipes. There's a whole collection on my website. Watch how it changes the texture. Half a teaspoon of xanthan gum in the same 15% fat recipe. Same fat, but the mixture is thicker. Once churned, the texture is cohesive. It holds as one smooth, full body instead of breaking apart. It's creamier, melts more slowly, and has a gelato-like mouthfeel. Half a teaspoon, that's all you need to reduce the fat by five percentage points. It has a neutral flavor, gives the ice cream back the body lost with the reduced cream, and even changes how water behaves inside, keeping everything smooth and together. And yes, it's easy to find, usually in the baking section of most grocery stores. Here's how I do it. To reduce the fat, I replace part of the heavy cream with milk, which is mostly water, to bring down the fat content. Then, to dissolve the xanthan gum, I blend it into warm, not hot milk. Blending is essential, or it clumps instantly. That's half a teaspoon, blend it in. Half a teaspoon in a 15% fat recipe is the perfect balance. The ice cream churns beautifully, scoops smoothly, and doesn't get icy in the freezer. At this level, everything is in harmony. Add more and it starts to get stretchy. This is the ratio I use in all my recipes for smooth, consistent results. And if you're wondering why not just double it to cut the fat even further, let me show you why. As you can see here, one teaspoon in the 10% fat ice cream looks good enough. It seems like the perfect shortcut, less fat, same texture, but when I create recipes, flavor comes first, then mouthfeel along with texture. And in a 10% fat ice cream with one teaspoon of xanthan gum, the texture looks good, but there's still too much water and that affects the mouth feel. It feels cold and thin. You see, xanthan gum can help with the texture, but it can't fix how too much water feels in the mouth. So in the end, we don't get ice cream. We get too much ice to call it ice cream. That's the point where xanthan gum just can't make up for missing fat. Now, there are ways to keep this ratio 10% fat and one teaspoon and still improve the mouthfeel. That's done by adding ingredients like skim milk, powder, or other professional ingredients you don't usually find in a supermarket. But for now, we'll keep things simple. What you need to know for now is this. For a good balance of ice and cream and that smooth texture and mouthfeel we all look for, half a teaspoon of xanthan gum and about 15% fat is perfect. This this balance works when we're using simple ingredients, milk, heavy cream, and sugar. But once you start adding things like chocolate, nut butters, or fruit, they bring their own body and the fat ratio shifts. If you're curious how this works, I'd love to make a full video about it. Just let me know in the comments. So this is how xanthan gum replaces fat. And in the right amount, it can even make ice cream better. You just have to use it in a balanced way. That's it for today. And yes, I love questions. Drop them in the comments below. Thanks for watching and happy smooth churning.